Okay, quick review of my Kodiak uh, LED, I guess sort of canister light. Um, I just did a remodel in my kitchen and I installed a number of different traditional canister lights and put LED bulbs in. Uh, this was not really even a consideration of mine at the time, but it's pretty neat. Um, as you can see, it's super thin, so you don't need a lot of clearance up above it if you have a rafter running over or AC ducts or anything like that. So it increases, I guess, where you can use it. Basically, you just cut a circle in the ceiling to, to fit. Uh, it has a flange that goes around the side. You flip these up and it pulls itself tight and holds it in the ceiling. Uh, it includes a transformer and basically there are two wires to hook up. Uh, I guess you could check your local building code. You're probably supposed to get an electrician to do this stuff. Um, but uh, it's not rocket science. It's a matter of hooking up two wires and uh, cutting a hole in your ceiling. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping to get this up. You can take a look and see what it looks like. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you. Okay, so here's the light that I'm going to replace it with. Uh, this is an old canister style light. I just checked the cutout for what I had in place. It was about six inches across and that's uh, about the cutout requirement uh, for the LED replacement light. All right, so here's the light installed. It is a very white bordering on blue light. Uh, it's not obnoxious, but it is very bright. It's almost uh, very close to natural daylight. Uh, just for comparison, not that it really translates very well, but there's a 60 watt incandescent bulb in there. As you can see, you've got your yellow hues. It's a little more relaxing. Uh, very bright, very flush. Uh, works out well. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, uh, go for it. Hope this review helps. Thanks.